Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Good to be with you after a short break on the YouTube channel. And today I've got some work for you, a bit of a treat with IP version 6. And I know you're already thinking if it's IP version 6, I just don't see how it could be much of a treat. But you will enjoy this particular exam we've got today, this practice work. And I definitely want you to have something to write with. I think that would definitely help you with today's question because it's not just a quick practice question. We're going to go through five different expressions of the same IP version 6 address. And some will be legal, some will be illegal. You've got to be able to spot those on the exam, and of course you've got to be able to spot them in the real world as well. Because if you see certain expressions, well, you'll see what I mean when we get to the board. And let's go ahead and get there right now and look at today's question. Which of these is a legal expression of this particular IP version 6 address I have on the board? And that's one of the first things, you know, that give people anxiety. I think it's the biggest thing. And that's why I'm running that special version 6 class this fall, because people get such anxiety over version 6 because they look at these addresses and go, oh my god! Because uh, I'm not going to lie, I did the same thing when I first looked at it many years ago. It's like, you're kidding, right? That's really an address. But this is really an address, and one of the skills, the fundamental skills we have to have for working with version 6 is knowing when to use zero compression and leading zero compression. So I've got two more expressions here. If you want to stop the video, do a little writing there, preferably not on your screen, it's a little rough on the monitor. And just tell me, also, if one of these is illegal, I want you to be able to say why. That's important, too. It's kind of uh, show your work, you know. Uh, you can't just say, well, that's an illegal address. You've got to be able to say why it's an illegal address. And I'm going to go ahead and get started with A here in just about five seconds. So if you want to pause the video, go right ahead. And here we go from top to bottom. Now, looking at this first address, this one is illegal. And this is probably the trickiest of the five. It's really easy to overlook. Because if you're going from left to right with the blocks, you know, or you see all these zeros right here and you think, hey, I can just compress all those, no problem, and then I'll just have an FE and a 4 there. Well, you really can't do that. And the problem is here. If you get rid of those zeros, you do what I semi-jokingly call trailing zero compression. And the problem is there's no such thing as trailing zero compression. You're either blocking, uh, excuse me, you're either compressing blocks of zeros or you're dropping leading zeros. But you can't drop trailing zeros. So for that particular reason, A would be an illegal expression immediately, just going from left to right. You can't take FE00 and compress it to FE. Now, B and C, this is a little bit of an exam tip too, because what I like to do in these particular instances when I'm given a question like this, I like to eliminate the obviously wrong answers immediately. That, that's always worked well for me. Uh, feel free to try it. If it doesn't work for you, don't do it. But I always like to say, okay, I know D is wrong, I know C is wrong, that kind of thing. Well, we can look at B and C and immediately tell that both of those are illegal. Why? Because they're using zero compression twice. And, you know, I know we're doing the FE thing here again. That's another reason it would be illegal. But any time that you see two colons twice in an IP version 6 address, you can just stop right there because that is an illegal address. Zero compression is a very powerful tool, but you can only use it once in any IP version 6 address. And here in both B and C, as you see by the two colons, it's been used twice. Can't do that. Now let's look at D. Uh, this one looks pretty clean at the beginning. Let's go through the blocks from left to right. And FE00, that's perfectly fine we compress the second and third blocks from four zeros each to one zero each. Is there a problem with that? There's no problem with that at all because that is leading zero compression. You can do that as often as you want to in an IP version 6 address. Remember, zero compression once, leading zero compression, you can do it as many times as you want. Well, how about this block that we compressed from 0004 down to four? Is that legal? Sure it is. It's legal. It's uh, leading zero compression. So we did the same thing with each of the next three blocks. We compressed each one four zeros down to one zero, 
And then finally, we took the Blanc 0072 and compressed that down to 72 by dropping the two leading zeros. So D is a perfectly legal address. So is it possible then to have more than one legal expression for a version 6 address using compression? Absolutely. Sure. Absolutely it is. It's your choice whether you use leading zero compression more than once, if you just use it once. Uh, of course, zero compression, you can only use it one, one time. But E here, this is actually about as short as you're going to be able to get this address. Because again, going from left to right, FB00, no problem, we left that alone. The next two blocks of all zeros, we compress that down to one zero each block with leading zero compression. Then we compressed 0, 0, 0, 0004 down to four with leading zero compression. Then we compressed these three blocks of zeros all with zero compression. That's what the two colons stand for. And then finally, the last block, 0072, we use leading zero compression on that, and that is taking it down to 72. So this is as short as we can really compress that address legally. But again, in the real world, it's most likely you're going to see people compressing addresses as far down as they possibly can. But on your exams, it's a good idea to remember that there's usually more than one way to express a given version 6 address. Just always remember, you use your leading zero compression as often as you want to. You use your zero compression only once. And if you see two sets of double colons in an address, you don't even have to do any converting. It is totally illegal to do that. I hope you'll join me out on Udemy. Actually, I've got to update this banner, I just realized. We're up to almost 17,000 people at my video boot camps. And not only do we have the CCNA and CSENT guarantee going on for the exam change on September 30th, but I've got an all-new IP version 6 video boot camp, and every single student in any of my Udemy courses is going to get a half-price coupon for that when that course comes out. It's that important. Version 6 is not something we can hide from. We've got to master it, and I'm going to get you over any anxiety you have with that with this great new class in September. Look forward to seeing you there. Thanks, as always, for making TBA part of your Cisco certification success story. I'm Chris Bryant, and I'll see you on YouTube and Udemy.